Hello YouTube, this is Mr. White and I finally decided to make an engine tutorial for you all. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to build this nice compact four cylinder thruster powered engine. The engine uses GPS and Expression 2 for the timing and well, it runs well. Um, before you start this tutorial, um, there is a list of stuff that you will need, a list of add-ons and whatnot that you will need um, to build this engine. Um, some of the things you won't need, or you could get by without, but I suggest having them. I will also be providing a download link for the expression chip, in case you don't know expression, um, so you won't have to deal with that. Okay, to begin this tutorial, we are going to need the PHX 05x05x05 cube turned on its side in the uh, diagonal or in this little di the diamond position. Um, for the sake of clarity in this tutorial, I'm going to make it transparent. You don't have to. I just find it easier to work in it. Uh, get out the fading door tool. Um, we want to toggle, bind it to any key, and apply it to the cube. So now, when I press that key, it disappears, but it's technically still there. Now we need the crankshaft, which is going to be the 025 by 05 by 025 PHX block. We want to get out our weight tool, make it weigh 50,000 along with the um, engine block. We want to get out easy precision. We want to move first prop to second, offset negative 100, and we want to offset as percent. Using Smart Snap, we want to click in the middle of this block down to, if you divide this up into four quadrants, like with the texture, uh, the lower quadrant, the very middle of that, so that we end up with the crankshaft in this lower portion of the um, engine block. Now we want to go back up to Access Center. We want no rotation friction, no collide, and the rest of the options unchecked. We want to open up the um, engine block with our fading door and we'll click on this face of the um, crankshaft uh, close back the engine block and then click on that face of the engine block so now when we open this up there's a perfect axis in the very center of this prop it makes a very nice strong axis okay now we want our pistons so we're going to go into wire down to wire thruster, which is under the physics tab. And get out the thruster. Your effects don't matter, your sound doesn't matter, whatever you want. Uh, you want a force multiplier of 1, force minimum, negative, whatever you want, and maximum, whatever you want. When it bike directional, we do not want it to collide and work out of water and underwater is up to you. So we want to select the Hunter PHX plate prop from um, PHX. We're going to want four of them. We want to place them on the ground so that they're not welded to anything. We want to make them weigh 50,000. And then we want to get out our no collide tool, and since we've placed a wire entity on the ground, it is not no collided with anything, so we do not want these colliding everywhere inside the engine. So we just want to right click no collide on each of the four pistons. Okay. Now, since the thruster, the actual thruster, is being generated from the very bottom of these pistons. That's where we want our slider to be applied so that we don't have any sort of offset forces on the slider that could make it spaz out. Granted, they probably wouldn't spaz out. It's just better this way, I guess. So we want to pick them up so that we have access to the bottom of the pistons. I'm going to get into easy precision. I'm going to hit slider. You want move and rotate target. I guess you don't need a rotate target. Um, we do not want an offset. We want freeze, no collide, and auto rotate. All the rest of the settings unchecked. Make sure that you do not have this box checked because we do want the minor slider stabilization from easy precision. So we just click on the very center of the bottom of the piston and we come up here, dividing this into four quadrants again. We want the lower quadrants right in the middle, just like that. So we're just going to do that with the other pistons. over here on the other side
Okay, so now there is both a slider and, from my understanding, three different ball sockets to keep that slider in place between the pistons and the um, engine block. So now, get our easy precision again. We want to go up to the nudge amount. We want to set that to 100. We want nudge as percent checked. So we're going to open up the crankcase, and now we're going to nudge the pistons down using our right click um, down to as close to the um, crankshaft as we can get it uh, without going into it. So that was uh, not one too many. So that was three times. So we're just going to right click on this face of the piston uh, three times to nudge it down with easy precision so that it's been pushed closer to the crankshaft. So now that we have that all out of the way, I'm going to um, color the inside of the crankshaft so that you can um, see the ropes inside. We want to get out the rope tool. We want rigid, no add length, no force limit, and rope width. does not matter what it is. Pick whatever flavor you want. Okay. So now, the rope is going to serve as the connecting rod from the piston to the crankshaft. And perhaps it being stupid. Um, so we're going to go from the very bottom of the crankshaft for whichever, or the relative bottom of the crankshaft from the uh, pistons. Just click, and up to the center of the piston. So now that piston is done. Go down to easy precision, get out your rotate targeted prop, we want to rotate snap amount either 22.5, 45, or 90 will work. And we just want to, let's see, rotate it this way. Oh, rotate it one too many. There. We want to rotate it 90 degrees in that direction so that the next point on the crankshaft is exposed. So the next one is going to be this piston. We just rope that up. Come back to the front of the engine, get out your easy precision again, rotate it the same direction. Again, rope tool, that point, up to that point, easy precision. One more time, that point, that point. So, 